Okay, my name is Muhammad Adwan. I'm a technical lead at OceanSoft. I will describe today MVC3 and Unit 2. Our topic MVC3 and I dependency resolver, uh, Unity application block 2, dependency injection in design time using Unity 2.0, and dependency injection in the runtime using Unity 2.0. Unity application block 2 is one of the greatest framework for dependency injections. So I will describe how we will use it with MVC3 to dependency injection in design time and runtime. So let's go to the project. First, I will create new project called MVC3. Unity. I will use internet application template. I will add a new pro folder to hold the external library. Here is the path of the Unity library in my hard disk. And then I will add reference to this pass. Recreate project of the message create another project which called service A Last message the service will have reference to the common and will implement my just return hello from service A. I don't need set here. MVC3 project will need reference to the common and service A. Okay, I will go to the control. I will add a view top within And then instead of using this text, okay. First, I need to create the class for Unity Dependency. Um, Unity Dependency.
this class of course will inherit from I within I will add after that I just need to create initialization If we run our application, this come from service A. I will add another class library which called service B. need add reference to common follow from service B I don't think any set. Okay, now we will start using the dependency injection in runtime, not in the design time and the previous example. So here we will remove this part. We will also remove the references for the service A. We don't need it. So I will go to solution property and choose dependency. This this project dependent on these two projects. I will also make the output here to this project. This is for service A. And this is for service B. The same place for the MC project. So when we build the project, the two assembly will go through the pen inside the MC project. Okay. Now we need to add the configuration section here so we, as we can see here that we will use configuration section unity and we will get the path of the assemblies of the unity and then we will using the alias i message and give it the type and the assembly and the type the assembly this is the service A and we will register to mapping here. It will load the configuration, load configuration at the start of the project. Let's build the project and see. Hello from service A. We just edit the configuration. So we'll comment this part and open the other part which will have service P and we start to run the application. We can see here that it is hello from service B. So this is the dependency injection and the runtime using the Unity application block 